the California State Teachers Retirement System tripled its stake in Tesla stock, doubled its investment in Rivian Automotive, and invested more in Nikola and Neo in the fourth quarter. <laughs> I smell fish. Stinky fish. Think about this. In the fourth quarter? In California? This pension system is designed to be for teachers? I mean, aren't teachers in California probably Democrats that are quite opposed to Elon Musk? And now their pension fund is buying Tesla stock, which, you know, is run by the evil, supposedly, person. Elon Musk and Barron's, that's a pretty big publication. I wouldn't expect them to post any misleading stories or, well, misleading maybe is not the right word. False stories is what I'm saying. And this pension fund is a huge fund, $311 billion in assets. And it is the second largest public pension fund in the U.S. by assets. And the article specifically says the pension bought 3 million more Tesla shares in the fourth quarter to end 2022 with 4.5 million shares. And by the way, I found the story through Alexandra. She posted this on Twitter. So big shout out to Alexandra for, for that. And uh, I want to see, is anyone else saying that they feel there's something off about this article? I went through all of the comments here. Uh, there are some people making fun of them, you know, because they're buying uh, Nikola's stock and uh, a few other stocks that inevitably are going to turn out quite, mm, you know, uh, bad. But there's nothing really that would make me think there's something fishy in the article from these comments. Am I the only one thinking there's something off? I mean, when Tesla stock dropped to $109, I was quite excited, but oh, some of you guys in the comments. Some people were not polite. Whatever I felt when Tesla stock dropped this much is the opposite of what I'm feeling right now, but I'm looking at this article saying that this pension fund bought 3 million more Tesla shares in the fourth quarter. In particular, what I am not sure about is did this pension fund really buy 3 million more shares? Sounds fishy, but I mean, a reporter from Barron's even got uh, a statement from that fund. Uh, the statement says, our public equity portfolio uses passive and active strategies. The portfolio's holdings can change for many reasons, including managers rebalancing exposure to desired active or index weights or due to corporate actions such as stock split, name change, or similar activity. Stock split. Hmm. But when I look at the article, the article specifically says the pension bought 3 million more shares. It did not say the number of shares increased. They said the fund bought 3 million more Tesla shares. So what is actually going on here? I go to Google, I enter the name of a fund, and then I add Tesla stock. And the only thing that comes up recently is just Barron's. Uh, nothing else recently from anywhere else, which doesn't necessarily mean anything. It just, you know, means it's not a big story. And sometimes, this happens all the time, only one outlet covers a story and that doesn't mean it's not true. Luckily, the Barron's article has a link to a form that this pension fund filed the VSEC. So that should make it super clear what actually happened. Is this really just a stock split or not? However, when I go to this form and scroll through endless other stocks, which are probably not going to do very well. And once I finally find Tesla, I realize it does not show anything about what would help me verify whether this was a result of a stock split or not. I can only verify that indeed they own a whole lot of Tesla stock. Then I go back to Google 
and I searched for more articles, something from maybe like November or September or October, anything before, right after the stock split where it would say how many shares this fund had, specifically how much were these shares valued at. Dollar amounts is what I'm looking for. And I found this article and I'm like, oh, this is from November 14th. Uh, the fund bought over 800,000 shares. So, yeah, uh, looks like it's legit. That fund actually tripled its uh, position. But then I look at the shares and the amount and something just doesn't add up. And then I realize, oh, Google, I was not searching for CalPERS. This is a whole different fund. And I'm not even going to try to verify if this story from November 14th is actually true. Did they really buy Tesla stock? That's too old, so I'm not going to bother with that. Mm -mm. And then I find this website, fintil.io, which points to clear evidence that Barron's actually, I think, surprisingly is right. Because I look at this and I see multiple forms from that fund. And just to double check... The name, California State Teachers Retirement System, uh-huh, matches. And here I can see multiple filings. You can see the filing date here. And you can see reporting period. This is what Barron's article is written on. We can see a previous filing date here with a reporting period ending September. So clearly a Barron's would just look at this report and then we just look at the difference between in the number of shares and, of course they must have gotten it right because uh, the previous filing date was right here and by the time this would have been reported the stock split was done so there's no way to make a mistake uh, but just to double check just to be completely certain i had to see it for myself so i start with a report that's right after the stock split and you just need to look right here so previous shares, shares and current shares Tesla is right here. So clearly the stock split has been accounted for, not in the last filing, but in the filing before the last filing. And we can clearly easily verify that by looking at the previous value in dollars and current value in dollars. You can see that while the shares about tripled, the value in dollars did not change, as expected. Then I look at the current one. Again, I'm looking at the previous shares and current shares. And we would expect a tripling and... Uh, yeah, I found where the stinky fish was hiding this whole time. Remember, the article said they bought 3 million Tesla shares. So you would assume that the amount of money that this position was worth in the absolute worst case scenario the previous value compared to current value would be a little bit more because, you know, Tesla stock did go down. But yeah, it did not go down so much that your whole position, even while you tripled it, would have been worth half compared to your previous position. The part I am not happy with is the part where they said bought. If you said the fund's position now has three times the shares, totally fine. Then we just have to figure out ourselves, did they actually buy more Tesla stock or no? This clearly said they bought more Tesla stock when they basically did not, certainly not, enough to triple their position. And what caught me off guard a little bit as well was they may mention all these other EV companies like Nikola and Rivian and others where they actually did buy the stock. Xpeng, Neo. It just made sense that they bought some Tesla stock. Perhaps just be careful when you see something in the mainstream media, unless you double check it yourself. Just assume it may not be right, especially if you have a weird feeling. Just be careful. And this is the Tesla stock buying opportunity explained by Elon Musk. My name is Matt Postius. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.